Now one of the most common questions I get is, I have an Android TV device, maybe an Nvidia Shield Pro, or maybe even just a cheap Android TV box, and I want to get into retro gaming, but I just don't know where to begin. Well, imagine I told you you could get a single USB drive, you plug this into your Nvidia Shield or your cheaper Android box, and literally in a couple of seconds, you now have access to a fully pre-configured retro gaming system, where you can now play all of your favorite retro games, access all of these retro consoles, your Ataris, your Jaguars, your Dreamcasts, your Game Boys, all of your favorite consoles, all fully pre-configured. And as you can see with these games pre-installed, so super easy to do, takes less than a few minutes. So in this video today, let me show you this exact process on how you can get all of these retro systems, retro games fully working on all of your Android devices. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's If you're get new to the started. channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So essentially what you have here is a pre-configured micro SD card, which I've just put into a micro SD to USB adapter, and I'll plug that directly into my Nvidia Shield. Now, as we can see, I can choose any game, choose any system, and in a couple of seconds, I am now walking the streets and taking out these bad guys. I mean, with these classic games, they just had amazing playability. Yes, the graphics may not be the best compared to today's standards, but that playability is just, is just something else. Now, I will show you exactly how I installed this on my Nvidia Shield. It literally took less than 10 minutes. Most of the time was just waiting for the different applications to be installed. Uh, take that. They did. Okay, so how did I install this? Well, if I press home, when I plugged in the USB uh, stick or the micro SD card into the USB adapter, I plugged that directly into my Nvidia Shield. And there we can see under device preferences, inside storage, there is a USB drive there. So I've got the 256 gig one. You can get the much cheaper one, which is 128 gig. So I plug the drive into my device. I then open up my favorite file manager, which in my case, I think I was using uh, Explore. Clicked on that. I went to the USB drive. And what the company Explosion of Fun have done is they've made this process super easy. I mean, you get PDF with the step-by-step -step instructions, but essentially you can see, I just installed this one application, RS install, I installed that. I then just see four buttons that I need to click. The first one actually installs the retro station. I click on that, it takes a few minutes, I install it. Once that's finished, I then click on RetroArch, it then installs that, it takes a few minutes. I go into that, I update the cores. I then install Moopin, then PP, SSPP. Once all of that's installed, I then open the application and this is what I see. We can see on my device, all of those things are already installed. Once that's done guys, I can then just press home. I then find RetroStation Android. I can click on that, click on open. Takes a couple of seconds. It's now obviously scanning the SD card, finding all of those games, all of those systems, all of those components. And of course, accessing via an SD card is never gonna be fast as your internal storage or an SSD drive. But you can see guys, it's working absolutely fine. So I'm now greeted with this menu here. I can see all of my favorite systems. For example, here we can see on Commodore Amiga, we have 1730 games. Then you have your CPS one, two, and three, Atari, Jaguar. Game Boy, we can see there's over 1400 games. Game Boy Advance, we can see there's over a thousand games. We have your MS uh, Xs, we have Neo Geo. I'm just whizzing through now just so you can see the different systems, guys, but you can see N64, we have over 300 games. And that really is the key thing that, you know, I don't want to go off and find, you know, emulators myself. I don't want to go off and find ROMs myself. I'm looking for that convenience. I'm looking for that ease. I just want something that's more or less plug and play that can take advantage of my hardware. So on my Nvidia Shield Pro, or even some of these cheaper Android boxes, which actually have very good, you know, CPU, very good RAM, very good storage. They can easily emulate PSP and, you know, thereabouts. So if you have a device like that, you can also follow this process. So let's say for example, I'm gonna to go to PlayStation. I click on that. We can see there's nearly 300 games. 
And I can now go through a list. And you can see when I click on a game, I get to see some information about what the game is, when it was released. We see the storyline, we can see the genre, we see the artwork. I mean, really, again, that's what you're kind of like paying for because you want this convenience that all of this has been done for you. You just want to plug it in and relive those, you know, the great 80s and the 90s of, you know, gaming. So you can see lots of different games in here. We've got some tennis games, some pool games. Let's see if I can recognize. I mean, I, I did actually have a PS1 back in the day. Uh, okay, you got uh, Bomberman. We have good old Crash Bandicoot. And we have Classic Metal. So let's try that one. So I click on that. And in a couple of seconds, we're now playing this classic game. I mean, who doesn't like Metal Slug? And here we are, guys. So good old Metal Slug running on my NVIDIA Shield Pro. And that's working flawlessly. Now, of course, depending on your system, what you plug the SD card into will determine what kind of games you can play. But I think really any Android box made in the last couple of years, you know, around about $30, $40 even, that'd be more than enough to emulate most of these 8 and 16 bit systems. Obviously, with the Nvidia Shield Pro, I can do a lot more. I can even do upscaling. For example, when I'm playing PSP, I can actually upscale the graphics to eight times the native resolution or, or even higher. Okay, that's working great. And once I'm finished, I can then back out of that. Let's go back. Now yeah, you got some other PSP games. You got Thomas Wave, you got Game Gear, you got Genesis. Let's try some Sega Saturn. Good old Daytona. I mean, you can see guys, like everything I'm clicking on, every game I'm trying, every system, everything is just working straight away. I don't have to faff about trying to configure things or you know check these emulators or change settings or find games or copy things over or set things up. I've just plugged in that single USB drive into my Nvidia Shield, but of course you can plug it into any Android TV device or any Android device that you like. And you can see in a couple of seconds now, I can now play all of my favorite classic retro games with just really minimal fuss. Yes, of course, if you want to, if you're inclined that way, you can you know, install these emulators separately. You can configure them separately. You can go online, you can download ROMs, you can find things, you can copy them, you can uh, move them over. You can do all that stuff if you want to. And if you have the time for that, then that's great. But I think lots of people looking for that easier sort of plug and play solution where they can just plug in this SD card and start enjoying all of these classic games. I think lots of people will actually be interested in this. Okay, so let me now show you exactly where to get this from, how much it costs, and see if it's something that you guys would be interested in. So here we can see the item is called the Retro Station Android, Android Retro Gaming. And the cheapest bundle is 41 euros, which is about, I think about 44 or something dollars. So for under $50, you are getting this 128 gig SD card, which you can then of course plug into an adapter, plug into a USB adapter, plug it into Nvidia Shield or your Android TV or one of those cheaper Chinese Android boxes, get it in there. You can then follow the installation process. And you can see guys, you get three installation licenses, you can also pay a bit extra and get two wireless game pads if you need it. And they do ship internationally, guys. Um, in terms of requirements, it says that you need to have an Android phone, tablet, Android box, at least running Android 5. You have a micro SD slot, or in my case, you can just use a USB adapter. And you'll get those three licenses, so you can put it onto three individual devices. So definitely, guys, I think if you are looking for the easiest way to get into some retro gaming on your Android device. If you just want something that you can plug and play, I definitely think this is worthwhile checking out. So I will leave all of the links in the video description if you want to check it out. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know if you think a pre-configured SD card like this is something of interest on your Android devices, or are you somebody that would rather go ahead do this process manually yourself? So do leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.